something I really, truly believe. New York City is the greatest social experiment that the world has ever seen. I knew that music was here, that theater was here, but I also knew that whoever I was, was here. I was lucky. This is luck. This is, this is going to be a story about luck. 1945, it was the end of the war. My ship went back and forth between San Francisco and the Philippines and Shanghai. After some, a number of trips, we came back and went through the canal and up into the Atlantic and to New York. Every ship that came into port had, you saw that sign, welcome home, well done. There was a feeling that not only was everything happening in New York, but everything could happen in New York. New York is, as opposed to what most people think of it, is, is not a single place. New York is an idea, among other things. In London, you have all of these people living there, and then you have the English. And in Paris, you have all of those people from all over the world living there, but you have the French. In New York City, you only have all those other people. And even today, when the rents are outlandish, it still feels like this is where it could happen. We were both signed to the same publisher, and he literally said, I think you two guys should meet each other. We started writing together almost instantly, and, and it was fun. I think that was probably the, the most important thing. Fred is very much a New Yorker. Our backgrounds could not be any, any more different. Something would happen when we would get in a room together and start to write. Our individual personalities, something disappeared and something, <laughs> something called Kandranev happened. <laughs>